So the main differences between the Sony CyberShot RX1 and the newly released RX1R is essentially the optical low-pass filter has been removed. This allows for greater detail and fine structure. That's why we've peeped a scene like this with lots of detail to really show off the difference between the two cameras. So to really compare the cameras, I have everything set manually. I have both of them set to 1 320th of a second at f11 and ISO 100. That way when I go to compare them in the computer later, I know that everything else will be equal. Looking at the results from each camera, you'll notice the detail and sharpness is quite high on both. When you zoom into the images, however, you'll notice the extra detail and definition on the images from the RX1R. For example, it is now possible to count spindles in the railing on the walkway beside the river. This is, however, at the risk of incurring moiré with the removal of the optical low-pass filter. Presentation of the total range of the image. So as I change the values, as I overexpose the screen, we can see the histogram shift to the right. As I underexpose, the histogram will shift to the left. Now, if I'm shooting an image like uh, this Edmonton skyline today.